Welcome to day 10 of our play along videos in our January challenge 2018 and we are on our fourth day playing along with our Daduk and Manavu pieces. So I'm going to play for you now from the end of bar 19 into 20 and I'll do it at full speed to start with. One, two, three. bit slower. One, two, three. done so yet you could try this one hands together and one two three go through it in detail now for anyone that wants to have a slow and steady approach to today's learning. So yesterday we were playing bars 15, 16, 17, 18 um, and we repeated those yesterday. Um, what I didn't draw attention to yesterday was um, the appearance of a first and second time bar um, and I'm not sure if it even got printed on yesterday's music but now that we have gone into today, it's there. So you'll see there at the end of bar, well, over bar 18, you've got the one and a sort of square bracket covering the whole bar. So that means that when you play that for the first time, that's the bar that you play. Then you've got the repeat symbol there that tells you to go back. And then beyond the repeat symbol in what looks like bar 19, there's this number two, a second time bar. So that when you've repeated it on that second playthrough, you're going to jump to this bar instead. So you won't play the what's written down as bar 18 at all that time. Instead, you'll play bar 19. Now, it starts exactly the same. So um, those two bars start exactly the same. So the section finishes. So yesterday was this. So this is... <laughs> straight on so we've still got that F G in the top hand and A G down there but this time it goes one two three da, da, and we start takes us into the next bit which is what we're learning today so that comes in on that fourth beat let's have a look at this right hand thumb is going to be on the F so we've gone much higher so we had finished down here quite close to middle C just above middle C Jumping up the octave now, and thumbs going on that F, on that black string, take yourself to it. Third finger is on the string immediately below. Now you might say, oh, shouldn't that be the second? But finger choices is all about where have I been? So that might make you think finger two. But it's also about where am I going to next? And that's why this is a three. So thumb on the F, finger three on the E. We're going to play the F. We're not going to do this in time right now. Just play that F now and then let your fingers go on with a finger two onto the F now and a thumb on the G. And then you can just play up from that three, three, two, 
one, okay? We're gonna carry on from there in a moment, but let's just put that little bit together. So we're just going to go F, E, F, G. And the timing is da, 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 da. So the last two notes are quite steady. So if I count you in, I'm gonna to count to three so that we come in on that fourth beat at the end of bar 19. One, two, three. That's good, okay? I want to add a little bit more. So we're not actually gonna come off on that G, we want to place something ahead before we get there. So what we're going to do, if we go back onto those first notes, the F and the G, you play the one, you place the F and the G, and you play E, F, don't play the G yet. Now, from that G, you've got the thumb placed, open out a triad, so let your fingers two and three drop open onto the triad shape. The triad shape is where you have individual strings in between the ones your fingers are on. So your fingers should now be your thumb on the G, finger two on the E, and finger three on the red C, okay? And we're going to play G, E, and we will play this C, but we're also gonna place beyond it as well. So, can we just practice playing? I'll play it for you first. We're going to play F, E, F, G, E, and we should be left with finger three on that red, okay? Which is ready for what we're going to do next. So just try that with me, I'll count us in. So you're ready on the F and the E with one and finger three. One, two, three. And pause there and you should still have finger three on the red. Let's try that again, same thing. Thumb on the F, finger three on the E so that we can go back on with two and one. So we aren't gonna come away from the strings at all at this moment. Ready? One, two, three. Brilliant, okay. We're gonna carry on a little bit further. So you've got your three ready on that red. Our thumb is going to go back to the black, so we're on both colours now. Play the red, and then get your three back on the E. Play the thumb, and then get two and one on, and we're gonna go up. E, F, G, and we will come off there, okay? So that last bit, you had your finger three sitting ready on the red that you'd come down to from the triad. You're gonna place your thumb on the F, and you're gonna play up to that, so you play the C. Now that you've gone up, you're gonna get your finger three back on the E, you're gonna play your F heading down to the E, and then you're going to put two and one on and you're gonna play up in a row. Okay, so I'm gonna go from that C, this is the last note of bar 20, my thumb sitting ready on the F, and I'm gonna play it in time now. I'll count you in if you want to join in. I'm gonna count four beats in, and we come in immediately after the word four. So it's one, two, three, four, and one. Okay, should we try that again, just so you feel that timing? So three on the red, because of where we've been. Thumb on the black on the F there. Okay, one, two, three, and four. And good. Well done. One more time. You're doing that really well. I just want you to really feel it. So from the C to the F again. One, two, three, and four. Good. Okay. Can we put all of that bit together? It's not as tricky as it feels. There's a lot of repetition just in a different placing um, beat wise, but it is actually stuff you've done. So F to the E, one, three. This is the last beat of bar 19 going into 20. So I'll count three and you come in on beat four. One, two, three. F, E, F, G, E, wait. C, F, E, F, G. Good, we'll try that again, same thing. So thumb on the F, finger three on the E. One, two, three. Brilliant, so it's just waiting on that E, not rushing to the C that you've got placed. One last time of doing just that. Okay. One, two, 
lovely. Well done. Okay. You've pretty much cracked today's learning because there's only a tiny bit that's new. Most of that's a repeat now. Left hand then, let's bring that in. Left hand is nice and straightforward. Just got to keep track of where you are. There's a lot of ledger lines on the music there, but don't get caught up with that. Just know that what you're looking at there, certainly for the first three of these chords, are a fifth apart, the outer two notes of a triad. So remember a triad, you would play three, two, one. So if I show you here, I'm gonna play, put my thumb on the black F, miss a note out, finger two on the D, miss a note out, finger three on the B. Again, I'm just showing you with the right hand so you can see through the strings. And then if I just drop out that middle note, so I'm just gonna let that fold into my hand nicely out of the way. I'm not gonna stick it up, just nicely down there. There, I've got the outer two notes of a triad. And that's those first notes written down there in that left hand. I'm showing you with the right just so you can see it. So it's those together, nice as a chunk, really together. Then it goes up one. It's gonna go up one again. And then this fourth chord keeps the D, but our thumb moves down to the G. You've got two choices there, finger-wise. You could keep the three because You've been using the three and the three's just played the D and all you've got to do then is move your thumb and that's okay um, or you could change so I've got one and three here one and three in the next one one and three in the next one because they're all the same size gap and then because I've made it smaller I could make this a one and a two and ordinarily a gap that size which is a fourth apart would be a one and a two but fingering has to make sense. So if you feel more comfortable sticking with finger three, even though you've closed the gap up, that's okay. Um, the key thing is that as long as it doesn't confuse you for where you've just been and where you're about to go, okay? So let's try that left hand. I'm gonna go back to my left hand with that. We'll play that together. And these are minims, so there's a nice bit of time on these. So I'll count to four and we'll come in on the beginning of bar 20, just the left hand. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good, can we try that again? Okay, same thing again. So you're on the B with finger three, thumb on the F. That's your starting notes. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try it again. I'm gonna put the top hand with it. For now, I'm happy for you just to keep that left hand going. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna count now one, two, three, and start the tune in the top hand. If you're just playing the left, then just join in when we get to the beginning of the next bar. One, two, three. If you can now, you can maybe swap to just doing the top hand or try both hands together if you feel comfy with it. Okay, so top hand is on, thumb on the black F, finger three, one string lower on the E. Left hand's got thumb on the F as well, so the, both thumbs are on black strings. And the third finger there is on the B just below the red. Top hand's going to start on beat four, so I'll count to three and we'll come in with the tune. One, two, Three. Good, can we try that one more time? Same thing again, same placing. Okay, one, two, three. Now, the next part is very, very similar. So the next part starts again with the, so we've, we've, we've left our placing go. So um, that's it gone. We come back on, thumb onto the black, finger three on the E. It's the same tune we've just done. With the triad, thumb getting ready on the black. And this is the point where it changes and we just go down one, two, three in a row. Okay, 
So this is looking at the end of bar 21, which is identical to the end of bar 19. It's the same bit we've just been learning. F, E, F, place the triad, G, E, thumb on the black ready, C, and then three in a row. Okay, so uh, let's try that together. This is the end of bar 21. So I'll count three in so that we come in on that fourth beat. You've got your thumb on the black again, finger three on the E. One, two, three. Good, and then three in the row. That's it, so we should end on a D at the end of that. The left hand is repeating the same pattern that we were doing. So thumb on the black to start with, third finger down on the B. And notice I've said it in that order. If you aim with your thumb for this shape and just let your third finger just fall out rather than going it's this one and then it's going to be this one which is sort of two things to think about and tends to make you want to see that's that lower finger and when we've got a really beautiful shape with our fingers down our thumbs up you can't usually see that finger so knowing what a fifth feels like the outer two notes of a triad and aiming with your thumb is brilliant for just keeping that really great shape. So the left hand is going to play that B and F, go up one, and then go up one again. And it just stops there. This time it doesn't close in to this, the fourth, the D and the G. It just stays there on the D and the A. So that's nice and straightforward. So I'm going to play now the end of bar 21, which is the going to play that bit. I'd like you to join in with either the right hand or the left or if you want you can do both. Here we go. I'm going to count to three and then we'll come in. One, two, three. Okay, good. We'll try that one more time. Same bit. Top hand was on F and E. Lower hand, thumb on the F, third finger down on the B. One, two, three. Good. Let's put all of today together. If you're feeling like your brain is fried, I can't cope with any more, just sit back and listen. Um, or maybe think, okay. I'll just do the left hand because that's nice and straightforward and at least I'm reinforcing that. Um, or sit back and listen, that's fine. So this is from the end of bar 19, which is our second time bar from what's gone on before. And our left hand is on the B and the F. Right hand is on the F going to the E with finger three. After a count of three, one, two, three. Manavu tune, which means that the following few days learning will be, um, it's, it's basically a more intense version of the Manavu tune. Um, so it means that if you feel like actually that feels like enough, this is a perfect time to sort of say, okay, I'm going to use the next few days to consolidate and to go over what I've learnt and try and pull all of that together to feel like one solid piece. So you would start at the beginning um, of the Daduk melody and you'd go right through to that part there. And you might choose to repeat bits more round as well, that'd be fine. Um, but it's also a perfectly reasonable spot to just end as well. Um, so give yourself that let off, if you will, um, to say, actually, I'm quite happy. That's really been a lot to think about. I'm great with what I've done but I want to get that ironed before I make something more complicated when I don't need it to be. 
However, I will still be making these play along and support videos for the more complicated bits and I'll be doing them in slightly smaller chunks so we won't be tackling four bars at a time when it's become more complex. So if you think, no, this is challenging but I'm getting it, then carry on and keep working on the new bit too um, because it's great to push yourself. So see how you feel, but well done. <laughs>